Community leaders are taking a step toward a step forward to prevent violence and promote peace. They marched through a St. Louis neighborhood this afternoon on a peace walk. First Lord Forrest Kimberly Donahue spoke to those on this walk who say they're stepping toward future, toward a future they want to create. Peace over Biden. A walk for peace through the Peabody Darst Webby neighborhood. Show me peace. Marty. Residents and leaders of all ages and genders walked side by side through the area Saturday, sending the message they can handle tense times without needing to resort to violence. It feels like we have community here, which we do. We may not see them. Uh, we ride past. Uh, we hear about violent acts. But this is about people. Participants hoping neighbors can learn from one another. We want to be a part of the solution instead of part of the problem. Sento jones -El grew up in Peabody Darst Webby. He's hoping events like the Peace March can inspire children in the neighborhood to show compassion to each other and grow together. I've been to prison, you know, and I played a part in, you know, some of the stuff that goes on in this community, you know, years ago. So, you know, I'm just trying to be a part of the solution now. Because of what I've been through and what I have experienced, you know, maybe I can be that, that beacon of light, that beacon of hope that calls them to make some changes in their life. Organizers say one of the most important takeaways from events like this is the ability to build a sense of community so neighbors know they have somewhere to turn in tough times. We're hoping that a lot of our younger people can see what community really looks like. This is community, right? Neighbors together, hand in hand, standing for what is best for our community. The more we can have events like this and have kids know that there are people working hard every day, that they can have uh, a fun and have, you know, safe space provided to them, that it pulls them away from maybe being connected with people who are intent on committing violent acts. In St. Louis City, Kimberly Donahue, First Alert 4.